Greetings, I, the War Al, greets you, and welcome to another episode of Matchmaking Academy, where you are the star for all the wrong reasons. But don't worry, we are going to figure out what those reasons are and help you improve at Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Our hero today is Go Mateos. He is a Gold Nova 3 player, dots here, and his favorite fish is the Blobfish. That, of course, a favorite amongst fish aficionados. <laughs> Let's see what I did. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, he had some very specific questions about how to retake B on Inferno. We're gonna look at some rotates, we're gonna look at that sort of a thing. You're gonna learn something today, it's the magical world of learning. Here he goes, rotating right now, good call. <laughs> you know they always try to teach kids, like get them excited about learning, like, learning! Like, that's not gonna get them excited. Here's an idea, how about for boys, you teach them physics with guns. And for girls, you teach them math with shopping. Trust me, it would work. It would work. Oh my gosh, you can't see that guy? He's like right there. Oh no, what a noob! That felt good, I haven't done that in a while. Now guys, a lot of this stuff takes teamwork. So the biggest thing, biggest suggestion I can give is find some people to play with. This is Counter-Strike. If you wanna play competitive, find four other guys to queue with, work together, make your calls. We see that the CTs have properly called, but they've sort of kept themselves in construction, haven't really fought the battles, and they went down. So now it turns into a really difficult rotate. We see there's a Lurk player here. Um, Egotistical is way out of the way. He's being a little bit full of himself there. A little bit, you know, lone wolfy. Because <laughs> he's... Uh, wait, uh, I gotta stop that. I gotta say, I love Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna eat Chick-fil-A for lunch. I don't care. It popped up. Boom. Advertising works. Advertising works. All right. So, let's talk about this. Really what needs to happen for this retake is Egotistical needs to be moving up the banana, right? Then we have to have one player moving through here and one player maybe going through the construction. You can even double up construction, but it's all about that coordination of the of the team. And that does not happen. Watch this. Mateos jumps forward, walks over to the tree side, and right now, of course, he can see the player planting. It's a little bit strange. Turn off the x-ray. He can see that player pretty easily there and should have been able to get the kill. So keep your eyes open. If you heard the player planting, he knows they're going to be planting. There's two places they'll probably plant. One is that fountain, and one's going to be at the grill. So should have kept an eye out for that. Now check this out. Look at this positioning. We got three players to deal with. We got this lurk player. Egotistical is way out of the way. This is stupid. You got to help your team with the rotate. If he's saving, I mean, his whole team should save, and they should call it together. These two are going in. This guy's saving. It's stupid. He should have maybe tried to contend with this lurk and pushed up banana, because then Nebula would have had to worry about this player. So it's all about sort of like, think of it like a basketball game, right? And the guys are out there on the field. Or, oh, here's more universal ones. Soccer. <laughs> um, uh, some of you guys call that game football. So we have to, we have to point that out before an angry mob uh, pulls, my, pulls my face off or something. All right. So we got one player kind of here watching the, uh, the apartments. We got one player in the back of sight who's planting the bomb. If they went in from these three directions, you'd have like one man on one man, right? Everybody would be engaging with somebody else instead of this situation where Go Mateos now has to fight all three at the same time. Should have maybe waited for Chick-fil-A to come out here. The other thing to notice is, look, he has no cover in his position. He maybe wanted to see this this area right here. Maybe wanted to look from using this as cover uh, before he pushed up. Hug the wall where he is right now. He's exposed from so many different angles. Look at that. Uh, we got banana there. We got the back of the site. We got new box. The crack of new box. And then we got the oranges, first oranges, second oranges, dark, uh, fountain, uh, uh, the, the grill, everywhere this guy can get shot. It's a bad position, especially when he doesn't have his team teammates with him here. So we see now he's engaging the whole team by himself. This guy doesn't go construction. And so let me just give you just a one tip in this situation. If you find yourself in a situation where your teammates are kind of screwing around, you still want to go for it solo like that? You still want to kind of push in and not worry about them? Construction is a better place to push if you're if you're by yourself, in my opinion, and you're and you're attacking multiple opponents because you only have to worry about one angle here until you get to this point, and then you got this guy watching this spot. So it may have been better for him as the first player there to go through the construction. Ah, Inferno, the land... A fire! Sorry, I have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> Let's turn god mode on here so I don't burn to death. I am a god in this world. <laughs> Alright, come Andy Warhowl and let us take bombsite B on Inferno. 
All right, let's think about this. As you're moving in here, again, as I said before, probably a good idea to have at least one person uh, going inside of the construction. You gotta check this angle at this time. A lot of times players will chill. Right back here is a good spot. Uh, some players may even hide in the sandbags. It's a tough place to push through, but you're gonna have to do it. One thing you should worry about when you're moving in to retake a site is figuring out where everybody is. Part of that's gonna happen from way back here when you're looking at this angle and this sort of thing. You're trying to figure out where these guys are. You're gonna look at places like this crack instead of new box, which is very common. Uh, the fountain right here, where a guy actually was. He probably should have been able to get that kill. Just saying, as soon as that smoke cleared. And that banana. And again, it'd be a really good idea to have a guy coming up banana at the same time, because then you have to worry about those spots. So as you're pushing through here, he was standing kind of on this side with crosshair placement around here, which is really bad, because think of all the different places you can get killed. As you're pushing in, you should keep your crosshair where you think enemies are going to peek you from, right? And you should scan the room looking for these guys as you move in, right? You just gotta, and that's something you develop over time inside of Counter-Strike. It is, it's a sense of like where the different angles are, where you can get killed from, uh, using your listening skills to figure out where all of the enemies are, having your teammates uh, call it out. You notice as I'm just walking through here, I'm putting my crosshair kind of like where enemies tend to be and that sort of a thing. And as you're moving into the site, a lot of this does take coordination. One thing I noticed from these guys is they just kind of moved in. You got to think of retaking a site like doing a regular bomb site take. So as you're pushing in, maybe throw a flash. This might be a good one over the top of that house there. So if it goes off sort of like right here where that went off, it'll hit the player playing uh, at, at uh, Banana. It'll hit the players inside of the site. You got to flash smoke and all that kind of crazy stuff your way into the site. Now, smokes actually won't help you very much. One, the one smoke I think would be useful here is to smoke off banana. If you don't have a guy banana, smoke it off. Because then that player, you don't really have to worry about him as much. Except like right here, you have to just kind of check and make sure he's not right on the other side of this smoke by this wall. But smoking off banana, so you don't have to worry about that angle as you push in. That one makes sense. But the rest of the smokes can actually help your enemy because it can conceal them. Like if you throw a smoke down here... And see, like, I'm going to block out the new box so they can't use it. This player could even just chill inside of this smoke and, and wait for it to clear and then pop out. Or even as you're diffusing, pop out and try to take you down. So there's a lot of smokes that don't work. The smokes you should be thinking about is blocking off positions you don't want to deal with, like banana. I, I hope this all, I hope this helps. I hope this helps. So this round, I want to talk about rotates and calling to rotate. You can see what's happening on the minimap right now. We have T's kind of taking a very standoffish approach around the map. Uh, players are going to get picked. Terrorists are going to get control of Banana and move into Bombsite B. They've got this one player behind. He gives the call. He says, they've just taken Bombsite B. So these players, completely unaware that the bomb's right there, rotate. Mario is just chilling with the bomb. This player's playing uh, his Splinter Cell right there. The inside man gets taken down. CTs now think they're going to push into B. Bomb has not been planted, so that should have been a big tell. So here's the advice in a situation like this. And this player can just go plant A. Don't call a rotate, a full rotate, unless the bomb has been sighted. As a team, the guy in that site should have said bomb sighted or bomb not sighted or something like that. If the bomb is not sighted, it makes sense to leave at least one player behind at the other bomb site just in case it is a play like that. It didn't really matter in this round, but that is something to keep in mind. And we see these players sort of fall for that very basic of strategies, which is just the, the, the bait and switch. You got to think of it like this, right? The bomb is the football. I mean, uh, the s soccer ball. I mean, I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore. Big thanks to Go Mateos for sending in the demo for the courage to put himself out there so we may learn from his mistakes. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Let's get now, vision.
soccer, but that's assault.